island out by the coast Whispers tell of Kildane's ghost Chilly winds howl through the night Shadows move out of sight Withered rails and creaking wood Echo tales not understood Silent tracks in moon's grim light Fear the dark, fear the night of Kildane haunts the line through the mist by the brine engines echo in the air none can see but all beware listen close and you may hear whispers filling you with fear Faded lights and haunted lane Feel the chill, feel the pain Fog rolls in across the tracks Lost souls never coming back Engines pass in eerie dread Haunted by the rows of dead Silver tides reflect the gloom Telling tales of certain doom Every night the story's told Hearts are gripped by terror's hold It had been another busy day on the island of Sodo. Almost every engine had already left home to the sheds to rest for the night, except for Edward and the newest addition to the Northwestern Railway, Henry. As a way to test Henry's strength, the Fat Controller had given him the task of pulling the night train and asked Edward to help ensure everything went smoothly. All right, Henry. Your brake van was just added, so your train is ready. Once again, Edward, thank you so much for helping. As Henry glanced at the station clock, he noticed it was to 45. I'd best be on the move to Wellsworth. Indeed you should. Well, as soon as this signal would change... Henry was ready to leave. Unfortunately, the signal light was still red and wasn't moving an inch, almost as if it were frozen which reminded Edward of a rumour he'd heard about recently. Well, and you better get there on time. After all, I wouldn't want the time controller to find you out alone on the rails. <laughs> uh, excuse me? The... the what controller? Oh, um, have you never heard of the time controller? Well, probably not the time controller, because that name is more commonly being used now, but maybe you've heard of the Ghost of Kildane. <laughs> Edward, come on. I'd expect more from you. There's no such thing as a ghost. I wouldn't say that, Henry. There have been more sightings of a mysterious figure over in Kildane with some residents even refusing to leave their homes. I don't understand, Edward. What does this have to do with ghosts anyway? And come on, you don't believe in ghosts, do you? I've heard stories from many trustworthy sources, and I cannot help but wonder if it's more to be true or more of just folklore. I'll share everything I know, but it's quite a tale, and not much, and you should stay close while I tell it. I would have to hurry, because your signal should be changing any time now. This story is not as old as you would think it is. Rather, I've heard the story about, uh... 
a few months ago. So, they say that around 3.33 a.m. at every night, something strange happens. The hands of every clock freezes. The lights in the town go out a burst. And the temperature drops significantly. Meanwhile, a whistle can echo through the valleys, bouncing off the mountain walls. But here's the odd part. Through the mist of most of the station, a man wearing a dark blue suit, surrounded by a mysterious fog, walks across the platform. Each step he takes sounds like the ticking and the talking of an old grandfather clock. As soon as he leaves the station, we hear the chimes of a grandfather clock as he disappears into the mist in the search of his next target that is running late. Even though I don't have many trains around this area, but whenever I do have a late train, I hear an unfamiliar whistle bounce off the mountain walls that even my driver and fireman question on who that engine could be. So far, that is all I know. And I'm sorry if I did give you a scare. But the signal did just turn green. So you'd better get out of here quickly might I add <laughs> even though if the story is true or not I'd suggest that you keep your head up pay the most attention to the rails and pray that if you do hear an unfamiliar whistle that they are not looking for you stay safe out there Henry you too Edward I'll see you back at the sheds good night Henry stay safe as Henry set out on his journey, he began to wonder if Edward's story was an actual warning or just him being cheeky since Henry was new to the railway. He soon just brushed it off as Edward being silly. He was already running late and did not have time for ferry. Trails. So now I'm just a fairy tale, eh? Well, that simply won't do. Luckily, every problem has a solution. Sir, please, you must calm down. Allow me to show you. How real.
When Henry finally managed to stop, he was exhausted and his face was a bright red from going so fast. The driver and fireman began to inspect Henry from top to bottom to ensure he wasn't hurt during the whole ordeal, while also planning on what to do next. Hmm, must have been a frozen section of track. Well, we should stop in the next station and ask the station manager to alert any other trains that might be out on the rails to be careful. That's a good idea, Lighty. So, Henry, you think you'll be alright staying here by yourself when we get to the next station? We surely won't be that long. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'm fine with that. When Henry arrived at the next station, his driver and fireman uncoupled him from the train and moved him into a shed that was nearby. Right, Henry. So, we'll be a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Well, take your time. As Henry waited patiently for his driver and fireman, the realization that he had absolutely no idea where he was began to dawn on him. Uh, 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 what was that? Uh, what if... What if Edward's story was... Oh, come on, pull it together, Henry. Edward's story wasn't true. It's just a simple bedtime story. Your mind's just playing tricks on you, Henry. You'll be fine. <laughs> Well, driver and fireman have been... They've been gone for pretty long. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> Who, who's there? Show yourself. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of you. Just, just show yourself. Wait a, wait a minute, is that ticking? Is this... Henry was a bit confused at first, but quickly figured out what was happening. Oh, this is a joke. Ugh, Edward, I know you're behind this. So come on out, I don't find it funny at all. I need to get my work done so that way I can go to sleep. Soon the ticking came to a stop. Henry began to feel uneasy, as if someone was watching him. Hello. Ah! Ah! Send her some actions! Where on earth did you come from? Henry was relieved to see another engine out on the rails and was happy to have someone to keep him company. My apologies. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, I, I wasn't scared. You just, you just caught me off guard, that's all. Really? Are you sure about that? Why, yes. Yes, I, I'm very sure. I, I was terrified. Anyways, Edward... Never mentioned any other engines being out on the rails tonight. Are you also new to the island? No. I've been here for a while. Oh. Well, then. Do you happen to know where here is, if I may ask? Yeah. We're in Kildane. Wait, I'm I'm in Kildane? Oh no, Kildane is way beyond Wellsworth. I'm sure to be late now. Uh, the fat controller will have me sent away. It's only three thirty. 
You've got plenty of time. Ugh, don't be so silly. I've been waiting for my driver and fireman for about an hour now. How could it be only 3.30? The time controller. He's somewhere around here. I've actually been looking for him all night. The moment the engine mentioned the time controller, Henry immediately knew what was going on and wasn't in the mood for any more jokes. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. I see what's going on here. You're working with Edward, aren't you? Excuse me? What are you talking about? Well, you both got me. So, could you please tell me where I am? I need to be on my way. I just told you, Henry. We're in Kildane. All right, enough. Wait, wait a minute. What did you say? Before the engine could even answer, she was immediately cut off by the sounds of a clock chiming in the distance. As thrilling as this conversation is, your driver and fireman will be back soon. I should be going now, but trust me, you won't be late. Also, one last thing before I leave. I do not appreciate you calling the time controller a silly story. He's not. I should know. I am his engine. At that moment, the driver and fireman finally returned. Henry demanded that they leave immediately. He didn't want to stay here any longer.
Finally sought to find the key Though it was tough to trust In the realms of hours past And minutes still to come She swore she'd help him find Where his smile had gone